Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have once again a ton of spoilers to talk about in today's video, but first things first, Fortnite is still breaking records with Fortnite OG now being here. So Fortnite is currently peaking at well over 6 million concurrent players, which is absolutely crazy. I don't think any other game can literally pull 6 million people at all times for hours on end. It is just insane to think about. Um, so yeah, huge, huge, great success with Fortnite OG. Uh, to top things off, we finally have the release dates of the upcoming skins that everyone's looking forward to. So Stranger Things and all that great stuff. So so, a few item shop dates have now been leaked, so OG Favorites, which came out uh, essentially tonight. Uh, t November 5th, item shop will be Safe Bets. November 6th, Stranger Things, Reef Recon, Dark Darkness, and Dinos, Special Offers and Bundles, Dark Targets, Rick and Morty, Nike Air Max, Customized Your Hero, and Alien Abduction. So, so far, that's all we know so far. Obviously, the most important one would definitely be the Stranger Things one, which is actually, coincidentally enough, coming out over on Stranger Things Day. So very, very cool. Just a few more days until that comes out. Uh, with that being said, I do want to point out that Ninja has now dyed his hair blue once again, which is just so cool uh, to see, you know, OG players returning back to their OG looks. Uh, with that being said, though, we have for you guys some pretty big spoilers for an upcoming event. Uh, Fall Guys and a bunch of stuff. So spoiler warning. Uh, from Hypex event teaser, we wish you a lot of fun in the upcoming Fortnite OG weeks and the big bang right after. Um, so yeah, this was spotted. I'm not exa exactly sure where this was spotted, but yeah, it's from Spush. Uh, so very, very cool. To top things off, we have for you guys in addition to this, a uh, good spot from real number sets about the final event teaser. Uh, in the Batman Foundation comic, Foundation is giving Batman some backstory about the Zero Point and the IO and says this about how all realities came to be. Batman also links this to the big bang. So yeah, we're actually we're going to be seeing another version of the black hole uh, once Fortnite OG is going to be ending. But this time, I think it's going to be very, very strange as well this in the background video. So we all know for a fact there's going to be four stages of this upcoming time machine. It'll be all across the foreign island before eventually ending up over attached to the actual rocket itself. Um, so like I said in the previous video, I do feel like that right before the rocket is about to hit like, you know, and cause the black hole once again, like in chapter one, I think it's going to like time slip or it's going to like, you know, teleport somewhere else and... I don't know what's gonna be happening, but it's gonna be something crazy. Obviously, the time machine will be activated at some point during the actual rocket event itself. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be freaking awesome. With that being said, I think I forgot to show this in the previous video, but there's a bunch of weird love events that are gonna be taking place, such as well the cube rolling around the island. So check this out. Um, we also have something kind of strange. So during season eight, there's going to be a Forex display at Retail Row in Tilted. Uh, this is probably to celebrate not getting destroyed by the volcano. And that's probably true. So check this out. So very, very interesting. We also have the final stage of like the zero point in the cube, like, you know, all that great stuff. So also check this out.
All right, and on to some more crazy awesome collaborations. So Fortnite X, Lego, and Fall Guys. Uh, Fortnite is now working on porting Fall Guys beans for a minigame. And they are also working on a Lego mode where you play as Lego characters and build shareable worlds to, that have enemies, towers, combat, Lego llamas, uh, ship cannons, music, and much more. To add to this, Sheena also said, Lego X Fortnite OG, this collaboration seems to feature a random terrain generation system when creating a new world. Uh, it could be like world seeds in Minecraft. The collaboration has an overworld, guided building, combat levels, and so much more. Uh, this is going to be a lot bigger than we expected. So I think in chapter 5 this will be debuting and it's going to be freaking insane. So just like Minecraft has seeds, it's going to be the exact same thing. So in Fortnite Creative, you guys can like type in a custom number and bam, you guys get a custom generated world. Like it's, it's going to be freaking awesome. It'd be so cool to see Fortnite seeds. Like it's just so freaking cool. That's a huge topic over in the Minecraft community. So happy to see that join the Fortnite community. With that being said, upcoming weapon mods are still coming. So after three years, they have now just added new inventory menu to customize attachments, uh, common to legendary attachment system, and accuracy and recoil attachment, and optic scope attachment. So they're still working on this, and we do speculate that this could be a huge addition to augments uh, coming in chapter 5 as well. So very, very cool. Lots of bangers in today's video. Uh, to coincide with chapter 5, new ice elements. In chapter 5, ice will work similar to how fire works, with ice grenades creating ice on builds and on the ground. If fire and ice meet, obviously the ice will melt. I guess this kind of indicates that chapter 5's map will definitely feature snow and an ice biome. And that's probably true, so definitely anticipate ice and snow for chapter 5 over in December, which makes perfect sense, obviously. Like, it's Christmas time, man. We should definitely be expecting uh, snow and an ice biome, so very cool. Uh, we also have an upcoming addition to the Chapter 5 Island, which will be a new UI system for Chapter 5. I cannot believe they're once again updating the UI, but here we are, and here's another clip. So not a huge fan of this, but let me in the comments below how you guys are feeling about this. Uh, to coincide with Fortnite OG, Rift Encounters are coming back later this season, and they will bring old items and vehicles to the map, such as big gains. It will bring back the Grappler Glove and has a cryptic NPC. Clean Cuts brings back the Katana and has a stray NPC. Grease Monkey brings back the Dirt Bike and has a Scrap Knight. Uh, Jewels NPC, Burger Blast has a Sir Burger NPC, and Inventory Default is currently unknown. So with that being said, that's all I have for you guys for today's Fortnite video. I'm sorry I'm late today. It was a long day, needless to say. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's videos, and stay happy.